Hi everyone, today I want to talk about how to create an iMovie movie or um, a project in iMovie. So not just a simple trailer, but something that's a little bit more advanced. So I'm going to open up iMovie. It's the one with the star and the video camera. All right. And to create a new project, I'm going to hit the plus button. Now I have the option between a movie and a trailer. So a trailer is a very um, rigid template that will look nice and everything will fit together and they've already selected the fonts for you and the titles and the transitions. It looks great. But it is a little limiting on what you can put in and what you can't. iMovie, or the movie for, on the other hand, is very open. So I tap on movie and the, this is my camera roll that it automatically put up. So this is all my photos, all my videos. Um, and the idea is that you record something, you decide what you want, and then you kind of, you insert it. Now let's say I don't know exactly what I want. Um, I'm not going to insert anything right now. Let me just jump over to videos. I'm not going to insert anything right now just because I can always add it later and I want to show you how to do that. But let's say I had a recording and I knew I wanted to use it. You would just tap on it and hit the check mark. Um, but let's, let's do that in a, in a second. All right, so at the very bottom it says create movie, so I'm going to create the movie. And you'll notice there's nothing, I, I'm sorry, you'll notice you have three panels. Um, in the upper left hand corner I have some sort of preview panel that's going to show me what the movie will look like. My media panel um, will allow me to do different things and select different things. And notice there's an X there, so I can kind of change what that panel is. And then the bottom half is my timeline. All right, so I am going to insert a video. I'm going to select a video. So I go to my video and go to all. Notice this is just what was seen on the previous screen. Um, but I want to show you what it looked like blank without something in there. So I'm going to tap on, let's say this awesome video of uh, my coffee cup because I was just playing around. All right, um, I notice it automatically put it in there. And then I'm going to the video of my desk. There we go, perfect, okay. So I have a couple of video clips in there, um, and but I'm done adding, so I'm gonna hit the X, okay. So now it's just two panels. I've got what the movie will look like and um, the timeline. Now I can grab the timeline and move it around and it's gonna kind of change the video, right? So if we just play it, you'll notice um, it's my coffee cup and then it transitions over to, um, it's not really my desk, I don't even know what that is. Okay, so let's say I didn't like that transition. There's two triangles in between the video clips. If I tap on the two triangles in between the video clips, I can change what the transition looks like. So maybe I want it to be a wipe and a wipe would look like this. All right, and then it wipes over to the next one. All right, so you can kind of play around with your transitions and some would make sense and some might not make sense at any given time. If I don't want to transition, I can just hit none and then it's just going to jump straight from one video to the next one, okay? So it always defaults to dissolve for whatever reason. All right, it just is what it is. All right, um, if I wanted to take a picture or add audio, maybe I want to add a voiceover, right? There's not a lot of audio on here. If I want to add a voiceover, I would click on the microphone on the left. All right, so I'll click on that microphone and it's ready to record. It's sensing my voice. I hit the record button, counts it down, and now it's going to play and I am voicing over on top of that thing. So now I get my little transition and I'm done. I'm going to hit stop. There we go. Okay. Now I can review it. If I like how it works out, I can retake it. If I don't like what it sounds like or there's an accident or a mistake, I'll just accept it. All right, and so now you notice I have my voiceover recording underneath my movie. Perfect. All right. However, you'll notice the movie does have some audio. In that gray area, there's some audio. Let me see if I can zoom into the movie a little bit. No, not really. There's some audio and it's in that gray bar. But I've just voiced it over, so I don't want that audio. So I'm going to tap on Actions. And you'll notice I can do different things. I could split the clip. All right, let's say I'm halfway through the clip. If I tap on the clip, I could split it. Um, I could duplicate it. I can detach the audio, which is kind of what I want to do. And so now I've got my video. I've got the audio from that video, and I've got my voiceover. I'll just delete the video audio, and now I've got just the video and my voiceover. All right, now there's a lot of different things you can do in iMovie, and I'm kind of going very quickly through them, but play around with the action menu or you know you can speed up or slow down or add freeze frames you can do all kinds of different things in here there's actually quite a few features inside 
um, iMovie on the iPad. But the last two I really want to talk about are titles and filters. Now titles are ways that you can add text over it and if you just wait long enough they will all kind of do their little preview. Um, however, let's say I want to create a special kind of video. Let me go up to the gear and show you what I'm talking about. There are certain themes. Let's say um, the, I want to create like a little travel brochure. Let's say I'm in social studies and I want to create a, a movie about the country we're studying or the region we're studying. All right, I'm going to do that and then I'm going to hit, there we go. Now notice, so I hit travel and I kind of got out of there. Now I have a brand new slide. So I have this travel themed slide. Now opening would be the opening of it, so the opening title. Middle would just be, let's say, you're transitioning to a new shot. You need to put a new place or a new descriptor there. And then closing would be at the very, very end. All right, so you're able to add specific titles based off of the theme of the movie. And if I change it to, let's say, neon, well, I go back, my titles have now changed, right? My beginning, middle, and end titles have now changed. The nice thing as well is if I add theme music, it now adds a specific neon style theme music. That's probably a bad example, but let's, let's do news. All right. The theme music is now a news related theme music. So it's going to have kind of that background news sound to it. So I can create this background music, I can create titles, all of that through this gear by doing different themes. All right, so it's a very nice way to just make a movie globally different very quickly. And by globally, I mean change the entire movie very quickly um, based off of just what you want it to look like. So this is a very quick overview of iMovie. Um, it by no means is completely comprehensive, um, and I don't want you to think that it is. If you have any questions while you're playing around with it, please don't hesitate to contact me. Also, if you look at the iMovie um, user guide, there's a lot of great information in there as well because there is a lot to this program, and I don't think a 20 or 30 minute tutorial video would do it justice or would be the most beneficial thing in general. So if you have any questions, come and see me. Um, I'm in room A214. Otherwise, thank you very much and good luck.